Do people need to repent? The New Testament begins with John the Baptist, who had the Holy Spirit from his mother's womb, preaching repent. Then comes Jesus, conceived by the Holy Spirit, who receives the Holy Spirit in full at his baptism, and he goes out preaching repent. Then come the apostles. They're filled with the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost, and to both Jews and Gentiles, they preach repent. Then comes Paul. He was sent out by the Holy Spirit, and to both Jews and Gentiles, he preached repent and turn to God. Then come the Lord's letters to the churches in Revelation, which emphasize hearing what the Spirit is saying to the churches. The Lord tells the churches, to repent. And you still wonder if people need to repent? John the Baptist came preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. If you haven't repented according to God, why would you assume you're forgiven of sins? What is repentance according to God? It's not about fleshly sins. It's about spiritual sins. You've mistreated God. How? You believe what men tell you to believe about God. You understand the Bible according to what men teach. You speak and do what men say you should speak and do regarding God. This is wrong. It's sin. You've turned to men. You need to repent and turn to God. How? God has a process. You need to start, continue in, and complete God's process. If you want to hear about this process, keep listening. God has a growth process with three phases. First, the name, word, of the Father, then the name, word, of the Son, and then the name, word, of the Holy Spirit. First, the word of the Father. Repent. Change your mind and attitude about the word of the Father, the old. Be baptized. Be washed in the word of the Father, the old. Wait for the Holy Spirit. For what? To believe God, the Father, especially what he caused to be written in the five books of Moses and in the prophets. Then the word of the Son. The Son brings about a deeper level of repentance. Repent. Change your mind and attitude about the word of the Father and the Son, both the old and the new. Be baptized. Be washed in the word of the Father and the Son, both the old and the new. Wait for the Holy Spirit. For what? To understand the teaching of the Lord God, the Son. Then the word of the Holy Spirit. Repent. Repent of how you treat the Spirit of God. Be baptized. Be washed in the word of of the Spirit, both the Old and the New Testaments. Wait for the Holy Spirit. For what? To show you what, where, when, and how to speak and do the Word of God. Even if you don't understand what's just been laid out for you, this is God's growth and repentance process. Anyone who begins, grows in, and endures in God's process will not be disappointed.